Copilot pages were only announced a few weeks ago, allowing you to take a conversation you've had with Copilot and bring it into a digital canvas powered by Microsoft Loop that you could share with your colleagues and also collaborate on further. But how would it all work? Well, in this video, we've got the answer. We're going to go and find out how you can use Copilot pages to take an idea from Copilot and expand on it further and even bring it into Microsoft Loop to also bring it into workspaces and more. And before we dive into the new Copilot Pages experience, we'd love it if you hit that subscribe button to find more great content like this that we put out every single week. So let's dive into the new Copilot Pages experience and find out how it all comes together. So you've joined me in Microsoft Teams and I've opened a new Copilot Biz Chat experience which was previously known as Copilot Chat. To get here, just make sure that you click on the Copilot button in the left-hand side of Teams. You're now in the BizChat experience. Let's go ahead and ask Copilot to summarize a proposal that we've created in Microsoft Word already. With our prompt now added into Copilot, let's go ahead and send it over. We'll now see that Copilot begins to generate that summary from our Word document, which was our proposal for the project. A handy summary. But what can we do with this data now? And how can we use this inside of the new Copilot Pages experience? Well, previously, we could only select Copy to copy the whole response and take it to another app of our choice. But instead, we can now have a Copilot page that acts much like a note taking area that we can continue to build out. Let's go ahead and click on this new button for editing pages. On the right hand side, we now see the Copilot response is added into a Copilot page, which is quite powerful. And we can now go into the content to make any changes that we like. The response is now editable on our Copilot page. But surely it can do more. Absolutely it can. So let's go back into Copilot and give it another prompt. This time I've asked for some key milestones to be estimated for the project. It'd be really handy to also put on our Copilot page, bringing out more ideas for Project Greenspace. And we can see we now have a range of dates generated, but we don't need to create a brand new Copilot page. Once again, if I select Editing Pages, this will now be added into the page on the right hand side, alongside the content that Copilot previously created. But can it only create bullet points and text? No, it can also do more. Let's go ahead and ask Copilot to create a table of actions that we need for Project Greenspace. With our prompt added into Copilot, we can now see it's generated a table. But the problem is, we can't do much inside of our Copilot response. But let's again select Editing Pages. And on the right hand side, we'll now see that the table has been inserted. Yes, not a screenshot or just plain text, but actually a table that we can make changes to and even add new columns or change data. And in the table that's been generated, we can also see the assigned to here, but these are actually assigned to individuals correctly. So in our table, we can simply left click, highlight and over type and use the at symbol to tag the relevant members of the team to give them access inside of the table so they have visibility too. Copilot Pages is powered by Microsoft 365 Copilot, which is in turn powered by your prompts, but prompting can be a tricky business. So how about you go and download our top five Copilot prompts, which you can access for free today via the web link below. So now you've downloaded our top five Copilot prompts, you can make the most of Copilot pages. And let's dive back in to find out more. So we've now taken all of our Copilot responses and we brought it into our Copilot page on the right hand side. But let's now begin to tidy this up and structure it in a better way. For example, in the Copilot page, it calls it Project Greenspace Information. We can simply over type this to change the name of our Copilot page. And with that done, let's restructure our Copilot page. For example, I don't need this line here about this summary, so I'll simply highlight and delete it. But I can also hit the Enter key, click on the forward slash key, and I can now begin to add different components of content into our page, such as headings to give the page a better structure. Let's go ahead and add in a heading across all of our different sections. 
So we now get a well-structured Copilot page on the right-hand side. Our project summary created and summarized by Copilot. Estimated dates for the project and even a table generated by Copilot for all of our project actions. But how do we share this with our colleagues? Well, I've already actually done this by assigning work to them in our table. It would have notified them that I've tagged them inside of that table itself and also given them access. If you want to also share it wider, inside of your Copilot page, you can click on the share button in the top right. And here you have two options. You have a page link to share with your colleagues to get right back to your Copilot page. Or instead, create a component using the power of Microsoft Loop that you can share it into other apps and your colleagues can also update in place. Let's try using both options. First off, I'm going to select page link and here, I'm going to go ahead with the default sharing settings. You can change this by clicking on the settings icon. But I'm quite happy that anyone in my organization could edit this page as there's nothing confidential here. So let's go ahead and copy this link. And once my link has been shared in my colleagues and they follow this link, they'll be taken to this page itself. Yes, they'll be able to look at all the content that Copilot generated. And no, they won't find any mention that Copilot generated either. But of course, what you are noticing is, this is powered by Microsoft Loop. And when your colleagues access these pages, they're not taken to the Copilot conversation. Rather, they'll look at the page directly through Microsoft Loop. Because yes, Copilot Pages is powered by Loop, and therefore is accessible inside of Microsoft Loop. But how about we look at the other option, copying it as a component rather than a page link. Well, let's go back into our conversation inside of Copilot this time selecting copy component, again ensuring the security of your link is correct. With that now copied, I'll head back into Outlook and simply paste in the link. We can now see the Copilot page is embedded into an email that I could send on to other people in my company and they could also make changes to this content in place, keeping it all in sync with the power of Microsoft Loop but being generated via a Copilot page. But how can you get back to your Copilot pages later? Well, there are some changes coming to make this a little easier. There's a couple of ways we can do that. Inside of Copilot and Microsoft Teams, you have access to your existing conversations. These are past conversations you've had with Copilot. On the right hand side, I'll open an earlier conversation I had, and here I generated a Copilot page. Inside of the chat itself, you'll find a link to find the page generated, which you can left click. You can also left click the option in the top right to either close or open the Copilot page inside of this conversation to refer back to it and make more changes too. Alongside that, inside of the Microsoft Loop app, if you head over to your recent tab on the left hand side, you can also select the page from your recents. You'll be able to see the Loop page and make changes to it, which will also sync back into the Copilot page inside of your Teams chat. So another quick way to get back to your content from a Copilot page. And lastly, can you take your Copilot page and bring it into one of your Loop workspaces to make it more valuable to you and your team? You absolutely can. Here I've opened the page inside of Microsoft Loop, once again from my recents. Then you'll see at the top of Loop a plus icon to add to workspace. By left clicking, I can now bring it into my Project Greenspace collaboration area meaning me and my team can open that content inside of the actual workspace itself and everyone inside of my team can now collaborate on that original Copilot page. So what do you think about the new Copilot pages experience? Personally, I think it's a step in the right direction. I've had many conversations with Copilot before inside of the chat experience, having to copy and paste it into different apps in plain text, making it difficult to build out that idea and share it with colleagues easily, all of which Copilot Pages delivers for us with the power of Microsoft Loop. And hopefully we'll see more improvements this experience because of course we're seeing it in a very early release stage. But I'd love to know your thoughts on Copilot Pages and if you think it works for you. And of course, if you haven't already, I'd also love it hit that subscribe button to find more great content like this every single week. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.